Yeah, well, I'm doing 98 Rock on Thursday, Friday, because Amelia's on vacation, and I don't get paid to do that. Well, you're the obvious, I mean, Amelia replacement. <laughs> yes, I'm just like Amelia. You know, and I don't really know what the criteria is, but do you did you listen today to the show? I, I don't get up before 11 o'clock. So. Right. They had some girl that works at the Blue Moon Cafe. Like, I, I don't know if she's a manager. You know, that was the person that they had. Now they're going to have me. It's like, is that how I'm viewed? Just somebody that works at a restaurant? Was she funny? No, she wasn't funny. How do they, why do they do that? she hot? I don't, it's radio. I, I don't know. What if she was? It wouldn't matter. You can't tell if a girl's hot just by listening to her? No, neither can you. I can tell. Not just, not necessarily her voice, but... Just her opinions on things and, and just how she handles herself. I no, I mean, listen, she is she works in a restaurant. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know whose idea that was. It was Scott's. And I guess they're I don't know if they're a sponsor or whatever, but I mean my first instinct is to make fun of that. Like why do you think that's a good idea? Well, you can do that on Thursday and Friday. No, I don't know that I can. But you're going to. Yeah, probably. But that's the kind of stuff that makes people cry and makes enemies, you know. Here's another tip for you, Joe. Don't hit, don't hit your mute button. <laughs> See, Robbie, you just stick to producing, all right? I bet you she's hot, though, because most women that work in restaurants, it's a, it's a hot girl job to start working in a restaurant, either as a hostess, a waitress, or a bartender. Well, who cares? Again, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm just telling you, this is why I would know that she's hot. I'm giving you more examples of how I could deduce that she's hot. Just Okay, just well, perfect. again, I don't care at all. I think it's just funny that that's what they decided. They're like, okay, Amelia's going to be on vacation. We got to get five fill-in hosts. Let's get somebody that works at a restaurant. I was pumping <laughs> gas the other day. There was a Middle Eastern guy. Let's get that guy. Um, there's a person that works at the Mint Bowl. You know, it's my favorite restaurant. I mean, yeah, it's I, that makes no sense. And again, I, nothing against her. I don't. Is she a broadcaster in some way? Is she an entertainer in some way? You know, being a nice person, that doesn't qualify you to be on the radio. Clearly. Well, I mean, Amelia's a nice person. She's on the radio. Yeah, Amelia's a broadcaster. She's got many years under her belt. I don't know what started. The, I don't know what the impetus was, but she didn't start in Baltimore morning radio. <laughs> she was in Ocean City. This right. girl, I guess, served them a Grand Slam breakfast, and now she's got the morning show. I don't know. Well, how do you think I feel? I mean, this woman's getting picked to fill in before me. I'm not even getting picked. Yeah, you weren't and even. You're, you're out of comedy, and, I, and this woman is, serves uh, apple martinis, <laughs> and you two are ahead of me on the on the pecking. Yeah, board. no, you're right. You should feel bad. But in, <laughs> in in my defense, I'm at least a broadcaster that's paid to be on the air at that radio station. Right. I no, mean, I for, do BAL at night and they pay me to do that. That for that's a couple different. more months. Yeah. Well, right. Until they hear me bad mouthing the, my producer. But <laughs> at the very least, there's more, much more of a reason to have me on there than there is just to have the help on there. True. But I'll mention it. I'll mention that you were offended. You can do that. Please bring that up. Cause I think, I think there are people there at that station that don't like me. 